Hey guys, and welcome back to part two of my digital art supplies with the iPad and Procreate. In part one, I talked about what equipment I use for creating digital art, and today we are going to talk about what apps I use as well as my current favorite brushes. Let's talk about apps. First, of course, is Procreate. Procreate is $9.99 on the Apple App Store. I have found it to be worth the very affordable price and a great platform for learning how to make digital art. Along with Procreate, I also use Pinterest and Safari to get inspiration and look up reference photos. Unsplash and Pexels are particularly good places to look for reference photos because all of the photography on both websites is free for commercial use. I also use VizRef, a photo reference app which can be open next to Procreate with iPad split screen. You can easily import photos to VizRef, organize them into files, and resize them to use those references while you draw. VizRef is $3.99 on the Apple App Store and it is well worth the price. Now, let's talk about brushes. Procreate has a wonderful set of default brushes. Some of my favorites that come with Procreate are the 6B and Narender pencils from the sketching menu. The 6B pencil is fun to sketch with and brings a nice colored pencil texture to your work. The Narender pencil is great for drawing in finer details while still maintaining a colored pencil texture. From the painting menu, I like the gouache brush. It feels a bit like painting with watercolors to me, and the texture reminds me of clouds, fog, or smoke. I used it for painting the steam on my cauldron sticker. My favorite brush for writing is the brush pen from the calligraphy menu. I used this pen for making my own handwritten font like I talked about in my last vlog. And last, I often use the hard brush from the airbrushing menu as an eraser to clean up edges. I also have some brush packs that I bought to use in Procreate as well. My favorites include Dizzy Terra's Oval Sketch 2. This is my go-to pencil for sketching and I also use it to add lines and details to my illustrations. It is a very versatile brush which has great texture and pressure sensitivity. I also like the brush set from Rad and Happy. While they are primarily designed for calligraphy, I also enjoy using them for illustration as well. I used the Rad and Happy brush to draw the outlines for the teapots in my teapot art print. It is perfect for creating weighted curved lines. Next, the Watercolor Max Pack. This brush set includes 78 brushes which bring a realistic watercolor look to your digital art. I haven't experimented with all the brushes yet, but so far I really enjoy the Flow and Wash series from the pack for painting in and shading objects. Last is the Dry Texture Procreate Brush Pack. This set of 30 brushes feels like I have my box of traditional pencils, charcoals, and ink pens with me to use in Procreate. I really like all of the speckled grain brushes for adding some texture and movement to my drawings. Now, I thought we could do a mini draw with me while I demonstrate how I use all of these brushes. So, here are three of my little drawings. We'll look at each of them and I'll explain which brushes I use to make them. For the cauldron, I use the 6B pencil, Terra's Oval Sketch 2, and the gouache brush. For the sake of time, I am just going to trace over my original drawings to quickly recreate them, but this will still let you see how I combined all of these brushes to get the finished illustration. So I drew the outline of the cauldron with the 6B pencil because it has some texture to it, with the streamline setting set to max. Then I colored it in with the oval sketch brush because it has more coverage without being totally opaque. Then I painted the steam and bubbles with the gouache brush. Also, as a quick tip, as you can see, I work with lots of layers. I could talk more about this in a future video, but pretty much anytime I am adding in a new element, I use a new layer. 
Now I am just going in with the hard airbrush eraser to clean up some areas and duplicating some of the steam layers and playing with the opacity settings to get the layered smoky look I'm going for. Then I sketch in the line and star details on top with the oval sketch brush. For this pumpkin bread illustration, I used the 6B pencil, the Narender pencil, the gouache brush, Tara's Oval Sketch 2, and the Dry Textures micrograin brush. Like the cauldron, I drew the outlines with the 6B pencil. Then I colored each part in with the Narender pencil, one layer for the pan and one for the bread. Now I'm going to begin shading. To shade the pan, I'm going to select the pan layer and create a new layer on top of that. By selecting the pan layer like I did, the brush I use for shading on the new layer will stay within the pan outline. I begin shading with the gouache brush. I do the same thing for the bread, building up color until I feel like the bread looks really colorful and warm and glowing. Then on a new layer, still keeping the bread selected, I draw in the line detail with the oval sketch brush. And on a last layer, I added some crumb texture to the bread with the micrograin brush. And for this teapot, I used the Rad and Happy brush, Tara's Oval Sketch 2, and the Watercolor Max Packs Natural Wash brush. After sketching the initial design, I created an outline of the teapot using the Rad and Happy brush. You can see how the brush created perfect strokes, particularly on these handles. Then I colored in the outline and selected it so that my painting brush would only paint within the outline. I hid the dark silhouette layer and on a new layer began painting with the natural wash watercolor brush. Once I was happy with the shading, I drew in the details on a new layer with the oval sketch brush.
Last, I painted in the flowers on an additional layer underneath the detail layer with the watercolor brush. I will leave links to all of the apps, websites, and brush packs that I mentioned in this video in the description bar below. I hope this was helpful to you and I wish you luck on your own digital art journey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.